Well, I've been looking forward to tasting one of these for a long time. As far as the way it performs in the garden, it's uh, made my top three. I like the way it grows. It's not, it doesn't grow real tall, but it sits on pretty well, or it has for me. And um, it has a decent amount of foliage, but not too much. Uh, just performs pretty well out, out in our garden. And I've read some reviews on it, and some people complain that it splits too much, and I'm seeing the same thing so far. This one is split. But that won't hurt the taste any, I don't think. I'm just going to... I don't know if you can hear it, but we have bacon frying as I do this. We're going to use this on our first BLT of the year. I'm just going to cut this in half so you can see how meaty it is, if it is meaty. That looks really good. Getting excited just thinking about it. Yes, that's really good. It's the best best one I've had in a while. This makes the fourth tomato I've tasted in this year out of our garden and it's definitely my favorite so far. So it's uh, risen to the top of the list and as far as taste and it's in the top three as far as well as the way it's performed in the garden. The splitting, that is kind of a problem, but I'll have to wait and see how bad it is if it's every tomato. I'm going to probably get tired of that, but if it's just, you know, one out of three or something I could probably live with that as many as we're gonna get but anyway I like it a lot the only complaint so far is the splitting now I'm gonna get ready to eat that BLT and on July 19th this is what the first carbon looks like quite a few tomatoes on and then right over here is the second carbon we've already picked a couple off this one and one off the other one and we have one more and this is our grafted carbon it's a carbon grafted onto a maxifort rootstock and at first I was not really liking the way it was doing. It was just looked like it was a giant bush of foliage. And I really pruned it a lot and, and noticed that there's a lot of tomatoes in there. So it's, even though it's two weeks behind the other two, it's catching up and may surpass them before the season's over. But, uh, like I mentioned, it's my favorite for taste so far this year and in the top three as far as the way it performs in the garden. So I think it's definitely a keeper.